We all learned about the three states of matter in school, solid, liquid, and gas. Ice melts into water, a process we see every day when we leave an ice cube out in the sun. Water boils to become steam, a transformation that happens when we heat water on a stove or in a kettle. These transformations are familiar to us, part of our everyday experiences and basic science education. But did you know there's a fifth state of matter? A state stranger than fiction? It's a state that challenges our understanding of the physical world. It's called a Bose-Einstein condensate, or BC for short. This state of matter was predicted by Albert Einstein and Indian physicist Satyendra Nath Bose in the early 20th century. BECs exist in a realm far removed from our everyday experience, a realm where the rules of classical physics no longer apply. To understand them, we need to journey into the heart of matter, to the bizarre world of quantum mechanics, where particles behave in ways that defy our intuition. Here, atoms act more like waves than tiny billiard balls, exhibiting properties that are both fascinating and perplexing. They blur, overlap, and lose their individual identities, creating a collective state that is unlike anything we encounter in the macroscopic world. Imagine a gas so cold, so close to absolute zero, that the atoms slow down almost to a standstill. This extreme cold is necessary to observe the unique properties of a BC. Their wave-like nature becomes dominant, overshadowing their particle-like behavior. Instead of bouncing around like energized ping-pong balls, they start to overlap, creating a new state of matter. Finally, they merge into a single entity, a superatom with astonishing properties, behaving as one coherent quantum entity. This is the essence of a Bose-Einstein condensate, a state of matter that opens new frontiers in our understanding of the universe. The story of BEs begins in the 1920s with two brilliant minds, Albert Einstein and Satyendra Nath Bose. Bose, an Indian physicist, was grappling with the behavior of photons, the particles that make up light. He made a groundbreaking discovery about their statistical behavior. Bose sent his work to Einstein, who immediately recognized its importance. Einstein extended Bose's ideas to atoms. He predicted that if a gas of certain types of atoms were cooled to incredibly low temperatures, something truly remarkable would happen. They would condense into a single quantum state, a BC. This prediction remained a theoretical curiosity for decades. The technology to reach such extreme temperatures simply didn't exist. It would take another 70 years and groundbreaking advances in laser cooling before Einstein's prediction could be put to the test. Creating a Beck requires reaching temperatures just a hair above absolute zero, the coldest possible temperature. Absolute zero, or zero Kelvin, is about minus 459 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, all atomic motion ceases. Reaching such low temperatures is a monumental challenge. Think about it. Even the coldest winter day is still hundreds of degrees above absolute zero. Imagine trying to cool something down a million times colder than that. Scientists had to develop entirely new techniques to achieve these ultra-low temperatures. They turned to the power of lasers and a clever method called evaporative cooling. Laser cooling might seem counterintuitive at first glance. After all, lasers are typically known for generating heat, not cold. They are often associated with cutting, burning, or heating materials. But scientists have ingeniously found a way to use lasers to slow down atoms, effectively cooling them in the process. Imagine shining a laser beam directly at an atom that is moving towards it at high speed. The photons in the laser beam, like tiny billiard balls, collide with the atom, transferring momentum. This repeated collision process slows the atom down, reducing its kinetic energy and thus its temperature significantly. Evaporative cooling, on the other hand, works much like a cup of hot coffee cooling down over time. The hottest atoms, which are the most energetic molecules, escape into the surrounding air, just like steam rising from hot coffee. This escape of the hottest atoms leaves behind the cooler atoms, thereby lowering the overall temperature of the remaining gas. By combining these sophisticated techniques, scientists were finally able to reach the nano-Kelvin range, just billionths of a degree above absolute zero, cold enough to create a Bose-Einstein condensate, 
BEC, a state of matter where atoms behave as a single quantum entity. Section 5. Quantum Harmony – The Dance of Ultra-Cold Atoms As the temperature of a gas plunges towards absolute zero, the wave-like nature of atoms takes center stage. At everyday temperatures, atoms are like a swarm of bees, buzzing around erratically. But as they cool down, they start to move slower and their wavelengths increase. Imagine these atoms as overlapping waves. As they get colder and colder, their wavelengths become comparable to the distance between them. They begin to interfere with each other, like ripples on a pond merging and overlapping. At a critical temperature, a remarkable transformation occurs. The individual atomic waves, once distinct, overlap completely. They condense into a single, giant matter wave, forming a Bose-Einstein condensate. Section 6. Cornell and Wieman's Triumph A New Form of Matter in 1995, Eric Cornell and Carl Wieman, physicists at the University of Colorado at Boulder, achieved a groundbreaking feat. They created the world's first Bose-Einstein condensate. Using a combination of laser cooling and evaporative cooling, they chilled a cloud of rubidium atoms to a mind-boggling 170 nanokelvins. At this frigid temperature, the rubidium atoms underwent the predicted transformation. They merged into a single quantum state, forming a Baki. Their experiment was a stunning confirmation of Einstein and Bose's decades-old prediction. The creation of the BEC was a watershed moment in physics. It provided undeniable proof of the wave-like nature of matter, and opened up a new window into the bizarre world of quantum mechanics. Uh. Section 7. Unlocking the Secrets of BEC – A Window into the Quantum World BECs are not just laboratory curiosities. They are remarkable tools that allow scientists to study the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics on a macroscopic scale. In a BEC, millions of atoms behave as a single entity, allowing scientists to observe quantum phenomena with unprecedented clarity. One of the most intriguing aspects of BECs is their superfluidity. Unlike ordinary fluids, superfluids flow without any resistance. Imagine a liquid that could flow uphill or through the tiniest of cracks without any friction. This bizarre behavior is a direct consequence of the quantum nature of BECs. Section 8. From Atom Lasers to Quantum Computing the Promise of Beck The creation of Bose-Einstein condensates, or BECs, has sparked a revolution in the field of physics, opening up exciting new possibilities in various scientific and technological domains. Atom lasers Unlike traditional lasers that emit light, atom lasers emit beams of coherent atoms. These beams can be manipulated with extreme precision, offering new ways to explore the quantum world. These atom lasers have potential applications in precision measurement and nanotechnology. They could revolutionize the way we measure time, distance, and other fundamental quantities with unprecedented accuracy. Quantum computing BES could be used to build quantum computers, which are exponentially more powerful than today's classical computers. These quantum machines could solve complex problems that are currently unsolvable. Quantum computers could revolutionize fields like medicine, material science, and artificial intelligence. They could lead to breakthroughs in drug discovery, the development of new materials, and the creation of more advanced AI systems. Precision measurement. The extreme sensitivity of BECs to gravity makes them ideal for developing ultra-precise sensors for navigation, geophysics, and even the search for gravitational waves. These sensors could detect minute changes in gravitational fields, providing new insights into the Earth's structure and the universe. The future of Beck research is brimming with potential. As we continue to explore this unique state of matter, we are likely to uncover new phenomena and applications that we can't even imagine today. As scientists continue to unlock the secrets of this bizarre state of matter, we can expect even more exciting discoveries and applications in the years to come. The promise of BECs is just beginning to unfold, and the journey ahead is full of potential and wonder.
Section 9. The Quantum Frontier – An Invitation to Explore The world of quantum mechanics is a strange and wonderful place, full of counterintuitive phenomena and mind-bending concepts. The discovery of Bose-Einstein condensation provides a glimpse into this fascinating realm where the familiar rules of classical physics break down. I encourage you to delve deeper into the world of quantum physics. Explore the mysteries of superposition, entanglement, and the wave-particle duality. The quantum frontier is vast and ripe for exploration. Who knows what other strange and wonderful states of matter await our discovery?